My name is Mary Poffenroth. I'm an adjunct professor of biology, and today we're going to be talking about interspecific interactions. Interspecific interactions is an interaction between two completely unrelated species, and they fall into three categories. Mutualism, commensalism, and parasitism. Now, in each of these interactions, you're going to have two species. In our example, we'll say species A and species B. So let's make a little chart, just to make it easy. For our chart, you're going to make one column for species A and one column for species B. If the interaction is positive for that species, you're going to put a plus. If it's negative, you're going to put a minus. And if it's neutral, you're going to put a zero. Let's start with mutualism. Mutualism is an interspecific interaction between two unrelated species that both species are going to benefit. Let's use the example of bees and flowers. Now, bees are going to get pollen and they get nectar in order to survive. And flowers benefit by getting the bees to pollinate themselves as well as taking genetic information from other individual plants. Let's move on to commensalism. Commensalism is a positive for species A and a zero for species B. That means no benefit but no harm either. A real world example of this is anemone fishes and sea anemones. You remember little Nemo? Well, those anemone fishes get a benefit. They get protection from the stinging cells of the sea anemone. The sea anemone is not hurt or benefited by this interaction though. Now parasitism, we're going to write a plus for species A and a minus for species B. Because in this type of interaction, one species benefits while the other species is harmed. Now in parasitism, we see examples all over the place. Many that we have to deal with each and every day. Things like lice and bed bugs. So next time you're out in nature, look around. See if you can find other examples of two completely unrelated species interacting with one another. Thanks for watching, and if you want to learn more about this subject, click on the link below. Or if you want to learn more biology, feel free to click on any of the links around me. And please, rate, comment, and subscribe to this channel. Or maybe, if you have ideas for more videos, send us an email at requests at mahalo.com. Thanks for learning.